Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Um, this is yet more progression on my um, Tesla V2 EUC. And um, I'm at a county park that literally just reopened. It's been closed since March because of the coronavirus pandemic. And I really wanted to learn how to ride the EUC here when I first got it because there's uh, uh, soccer fields that you'll see later probably in part two. And the soccer fields are like really well manicured so you could, you could learn to ride an EUC on it and if you crash the, the wheel just crashes into the um, grass. But it was closed so my, uh, I had to find other, other places to try to learn. But anyway, this is a cool place because it just reopened. There's hardly any cars here, but there are a couple of Little League baseball teams that are already practicing there. So here I am going over the grass as if it was a one wheel, and because um, I have a one wheel mentality, and um, but it was just a little patch. But it just shows that the EUC can go over dirt and grass too. I just haven't been pushing it in any of my videos because I'm still learning. But anyway, here I am going past one of the soccer fields, and in this particular park there's like nine soccer fields, and um, I decided not to go on the soccer field because one of the YouTubers that I watch regularly, Mike from Is There Any Food, um, recommended not going in the grass with it because it could uh, be unstable. So anyway, here I am trying to negotiate a turn on the sidewalk. Um, there's sidewalks that run all through throughout the park and around the soccer fields and here I'm staying on the sidewalks. I don't like riding the EUC on sidewalks per se because there's uh, bumps, even though it handles the bumps really well, there's like constant little, little bumps in the sidewalk, you know, from the cracks. But in addition to that, not so much on this sidewalk, but on other sidewalks, there's people walking around and walking their dogs and you have to try to avoid them. And I just can't seem to go as fast on sidewalks as I do on the road or in parking lots. So, but this particular sidewalk is good because there's a lot of spaces and there's curves in it, but not too many curves. So I could practice turning, but the whole ride isn't just turning. It's riding on straightaways as well to build up some speed and to get some experience building up speed because it's not good enough just to have experience making turns. You have to be able to handle speed as well to fully enjoy it. So there I am making a goal and um, my goal in this video is to just get more experience riding on sidewalks and um, all types of terrain really because there are um, parking lots in this park that are contiguous meaning they just run from one parking lot to the next parking lot to the next parking lot. Um, there's a close-up of the back of the wheel. Um, Tesla V2 is very cool. The only odd thing about it is it doesn't have a tail light. It has a front light, very bright front light. That turns into like a strobe light as well, I noticed. You could set it to just blink on and off. I guess in the daytime we want people to see you, but you, know, you don't need to be wasting the headlight roll the juice of the headlights so it flashes on and off. But anyway, um, here's one of the soccer fields. And um, anyway, this turned out to be a very cool ride. I've been waiting for this park to reopen for a long time. And um, like I said, it has just enough curves and um, just enough straightaways to make it fun. But the parking lots are the best part of this park for me. And if I don't think there'll be uh, many more parking lots in this particular video, but in part two of my visit to this park, I'll be riding through the uh, parking lots. I um, made a mistake in my last video. I said that I only got my one wheel up to 16.7. I checked my app, and I actually, actually, to my surprise, got it up to 17.9 miles an hour one time. In my last video, I mentioned I had this EUC up to 18 and change today I got it up to 19.4 or 19.5 so every day I seem to be able to go a little bit faster I don't want to push it too much but it can go in the 30s so I still have a little wiggle room to go I'll probably get it in the 20s somewhere um, once I mentally get over the uh, idea of going that fast so anyway thank you for watching